Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful retro romantic earrings. They are easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the notification bell and in this way you will know when I have a new video or when I make matching jewels to the ones that I have already done. Like here I have a bracelet matching these earrings. Yes, here I use different colors but I always prefer to use new colors just to see how a project would look with different colors. Of course you could make them one and the same color. And um, if you want to check the descriptions there you will find a short fast preview of this video on my new channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and uh, you will be able to subscribe and uh, watch uh, high speed beading projects. Uh, you could also find a list of supplies where you could buy them from and uh, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, a lot of resources so check it out. Thank you now so much for watching, I will start with the list of the materials. Okay so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 on seed beads, here I use chameleon color and silver color, these are ear wires and these are teardrop crystals this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use 0.14 or 0.16, it doesn't matter that much. And you could use other beading thread of your choice. And here I use size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do here is take 12 chameleon beads and 4 silver and I'll show you how I alternate them. I take 3 chameleon beads, 1 silver, 3 chameleon beads, 1 silver, 3 chameleons, 1 silver and last time 3 chameleons and 1 silver. Okay, now I have 16 beads in total, 12 chameleon and 4 silver beads and I'm going to slide those down and stick my needle here in my mat and what I'm going to do here is make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I make one more knot and pull again, okay. And now guys I have this beautiful circle and what I'm going to do next is exit through one of my silver beads, okay. This is what I have here and I'm going to take seven silvers. Okay, I have seven here and I'm as I'm exiting from this silver I'm going back through this silver in circle and now you see what I have. I have here something like a loop and eight beads in total. One from the inner circle plus seven more. Then I go through the next two beads, this one and this one and I'm exiting here in the central of my three beads okay and I take three and I go back in circle through this chameleon bead just like this then I go through the following two beads my aim is to exit out of this silver bead and as I'm exiting out of this silver I'm going to take seven more silver beads Okay, I have seven here, you see, and I'm going through this silver and if you can go also through the following two chameleon beads, then I take three, go back through this one and through the following two, take seven. Ok, 
Okay, and I'm going back through this silver and through the following two. And I'm going to do this two more times. Okay guys, and here I am at the last step of this row. I'm adding my last three beads. Okay, and now guys, you see I'm exiting here between this bead and this bead. If you don't see my thread, here I am. And what I wanna do is go through these two silver beads in this direction, through this one and this one. Okay, and I'm going to take one dark bead and go through these two silvers from the outside to the center of my work. Okay, and here I want to pull. Okay, here it is in the center and then I go through the following dark bead, chameleon bead, and exit out of this bead that's sticking out the most. Okay, and here what I need are three silvers. Go back here in circle through them, then through this one and the following. Okay, you see where I am. If you don't see my thread here, follow my needle. Plus I'm always saying where I am, I'm here. Then I go through these two. Take one chameleon. And go through these two beads. Okay. Then exit out of this chameleon. And it's time to add my tree here at the edge. Okay, tree. And you could go here through this one on the inner edge or you could directly go through these two. It doesn't matter that much, especially when you use uh, this transparent thread that I'm using. Okay, now I take one, go through these two, pull, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I'm exiting here of this chameleon bead and what I want to do is go through this silver from the center to the outside edge and I'm going to take five. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going through this bead that's sticking out the most of my so-called flower. And now I'm going to take five more. Okay, five, go here through this silver from the outside to the center and then through the chameleon and through this silver, okay? Then again, I need five, okay, five, go here, take five more. Okay, 
go here and here. Then from the center to the outside through the silver. Okay guys, and I will continue this the same way and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I wanna do here is go in circle uh, and make an angles everywhere. Okay, I'll show you how I'm doing this. I'm going through these two beads. I skip the angle bead here and I go through the following two, skipping the one in the middle. And in this way, when I pull, an angle is formed. Then again, I go through these two. Skip this one, the next bit, and go through the following two, and there is an angle. Okay, continue this here. If you forgot how I'm doing this, rewind and see and repeat this three more times, and then I'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last angle. Okay. Oh, I went one bit more than I wanted, okay. Now I'm exiting out of this bit here. And what I want to take are three silvers, my ear wire. And then three more silvers. Okay, three. And what I do next is as I'm exiting from this bit, one bit away from the silvers, I'm going in the same place here, symmetrically, okay? Okay, guys, now I have this. And I will go one more time around all of those beads, reinforcing it. And here, if you have your pliers, you could use them. Okay, you could skip this one that I'm trying to go through. Just like this. Okay, and I just added here my ear wire. And in my next step, I will continue the same way. Oops, here I think I missed one angle. But I should go to the other side of my work anyways, so I did it. Okay, and now I'm going to reach here. Okay guys, and now I'm directly here. I didn't make you watch me struggle to all of those beats up to here. And uh, that is why i starting from here directly. I'm here uh, between this and this bit, and I'm going to take three silvers, then it's time to take my crystal, and I'm sliding those down, and then I'm going to take three chameleon beads, slide those down as well, skip them, go through the crystal and through two of those beautiful silver beads. You see what I'm going to. Skipping those here, you see I have a loop of beads going through the first two silvers, okay? And now guys, I have this. And then I'm going to take one silver. And as I take it, I'm going through this one here one bit away from the silver. Okay, and if you can go just flip your work like this. I mean, bend your work like this, okay. Now guys, I have my dangle teardrop attached. And uh, I could go one more time through it, but um, uh, I want it to dangle more, so I won't do this. 
and now I will find a place to make a knot, let's say here at the angle. And how I'm doing this, I'm making here a loop, going once, going second time, through this loop I've made, and I go here through the following seed bead after that. And I could repeat this knot several more times. And when I'm ready with the last knot, I go through the following seed bead, and then I cut my thread, and now my earring is ready. Okay guys, so now my retro romantic earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way you will be notified when I release new videos, usually two times a week. And um, when you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And I have a tutorial for a bracelet with the same pattern, but here I use different colors. So you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents and for yourself. That is why it's a good idea to hit the bell. And you could also check in description full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and the most important thing, my new channel, where I make fast previews of my videos and you could see the whole picture of a project and decide if you want to make it or not, or just enjoy how from a bunch of beads a new beautiful jewelry is formed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.